Uh, hello, my name is Trey. I'll be working with Alex. We'll be uploading uh, some videos here to the EE Zone regarding AC and DC analysis. Uh, these first few videos are videos, they're just going to be random problems, ideas. Uh, I'm trying to get used to the software that I'm using. And uh, so, so these videos will not be uh, in series in the sense that each video will kind of follow the previous. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, here I have a series parallel combination circuit. We have an 85 volt DC source. We have some resistors here. We're not really sure what's going on there, uh, but it'll become clear that they are indeed in series and parallel. What we're trying to do is find the total current of this circuit. Now here, um, what we've done is we've manipulated this uh, circuit from the first slide so that it's starting to become clear uh, what this thing is. So we basically took uh, the nodes that were on the previous slide and stretched them out so that we can see now that this, uh, these two resistors 6 and 3 are in parallel and 20 and 60 are in parallel. Now we're going to do a little bit more manipulation uh, with this circuit so we can see even further where the series aspect of this problem is coming from. Here you can see again a little bit of manipulation. Uh, it's now clear what we have, right? We have uh, two branches uh, in parallel, right? We got our total current going into that uh, and then we have the same thing here. And so what we have is the total current comes in here to these two parallel branches and then it exits goes into these two parallel branches and then exits back to the source so what we need to do now uh, is find the total resistance of the circuit so here we've gone ahead and we're just looking at the, res the total resistance of the circuit and we need to uh, manipulate this uh, with a little bit of mathematics so that we can find the total resistance so here I've labeled uh, this uh, parallel, these parallel parallel branches as R1, and these parallel branches as R2. Uh, the math is straightforward. R1 is equal to six times three over six plus three, or two ohms, and R2 is equal to twenty times sixty over twenty plus sixty, or 15 ohms, so we rewrite the circuit this way, and now it's clear we th that's a series, and we just have to add those two together to give us a total of 17 ohms. We go ahead and redraw the circuit, showing uh, the source and the total resistance. Now we can solve for the total current. The, to the formula for total current here is given as I equals V over R, so we just plug the numbers in, 85 volts over 17 ohms gives us 5 amps. And uh, that is that concludes the first video, and uh, I'm hoping uh, as we get better at these videos, uh, it'll help people out there uh, with their analysis. Thank you.